Welcome to my uh, drum tutorial, how to make your drums hit in rock, I'm mean, rock band, in garage band. Uh, so first, let's go, this is the beat I already made here. You, I hope you saw the previous video. If not, go watch it. Well, here's the drums I have. Put all of them together. I'm gonna break it down piece by piece. I'm gonna go with this one first. Okay, I'm gonna go with these drums first. I'm gonna come over here, and mess with this a little bit. So, what I do usually is I'll play it while I'm. Let me put the volume down a little bit. I'm gonna add a compressor, manual, visual EQ, make sure it's on big drum, and a little bit of a reverb. By this time, it should sound all right. Um, next, I'm gonna add distortion. It already sounds sick to me. It's disgusting. Let me uh, put this in. Like, I like that. Um, if that's not what you're going for, you don't have to add the distortion. Lastly, treble reduction. Medium. Soft. That sounds sick to me. It brings it down a little bit because it's already killing my sound. Alright, there's that. Now your snare. I add the compressor. Distortion. The, the visual EQ big drum, put the put the distortion down a lot more, and I add an echo to this, a reverb and an echo, slight reverb around 20, 22, and then echo around 20, 22. There you go. Now you hear that. Next, the hi hat. I have there you have a bunch of effects on it. Um hmm, pretty much good. I don't, I, don't, I didn't do this. This is just I came idea. Alright, well we'll just bring that down a little bit because we don't need to be that loud. Oh, I'm not even on there. I'm confused as to why it's not working. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. All right, so I add that. For this, for the hi hats, I'm gonna add a compressor. That's easy. I'm gonna add a visual EQ, big drum. And that's basically it. I like that sound. And then kind of add this. Oopsies, my bad. Jeez, I'm messing up. All right, here this is. Add big drum. Add the compressor. And I already like the echo on it, so I'm gonna leave it alone. So there's your drums. Ready? So basically, if you follow those steps for your bass drum, especially your bass drum is what you're gonna worry about the most. Um, it should come out nice. I might take the distortion off. And I like the distortion. And you 
you basically you just play with it. Just make it sound nice. Make it sound how you want it to sound. Um, right here, you see how it's peaking. It's peaking over and it's turning it red. You don't want that. It's going to really mess with your sound. So you want to get rid of that. Get, at, get it as high as you can without messing that with that. But thank you for watching. Um, my next tutorial is going to be about arranging the beat. Um, uh, I think that'll be it. Thank you. Bye.